So guys, last week was Paris or like 10 days ago, something like that. This week, it's Berlin. Off for a little consulting job. I'll bring you guys along. Two days, a company called AJ and Smart. Never been to Germany before, so uh, yeah, let's do this. Diplomatic community, fuck em. So guys, I'm just waiting at the train station. One thing I love about London, if you've never been, I always pay like 50 pounds, 100 pounds extra just to fly out of Heathrow because this tube, it goes all the way straight down to the airport. It takes like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, it's sick. Thought I'd update you guys on a little something. Went ahead and bought, I'm not sure if you can see that. Went ahead and bought around $700 worth or $650 worth of crypto, of Bitcoin, uh, this little dip today. A lot of you guys are super interested as to what I'm doing with crypto. I'm actually gonna be investing this week, next week, roughly $7,000. Guys, one thing I do need to say is when I invest that $7,000, to me, it is sunk cost. If you don't know what sunk cost is, that basically insinuates, in my head, it's already gone. Like, it, to me, that's my education cost. Um, and I think when you come with it, come to, like, you know, invest in crypto with that frame, then, you know, it's, at that point, it makes your life a lot less stressful. And I've seen a lot of people just completely stressed over crypto. And I talked about that in one of my videos. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it. Plus, by the way, guys, it feels super weird uh, having sort of like this vlog style again. I'm not used to, um, even in Paris last week, I, that was like the first time in, probably like a solid like three, four months that I've done the entire like sort of vlog style. So I'll try my best on this trip. Uh, it's just me, myself and I. <laughs> so guys, hopefully some crypto gains today. Fun consulting job, as I said, a six thousand dollar consulting job in uh, in um, Berlin, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun trip. little space I'll uh, show you guys around um, come through here <clears throat> bathroom shower room pretty cool overhead shower mirror what's up guys um, yeah <clears throat> and then come through here and it's just a pretty nice looking hotel overall I think that there's some cool things about this the, first of all the TV auto like turns on which is interesting and you know most places you have to like hang your like like, yes, I want it clean, no, I don't. Here you just press a button, like, these Germans are just like, so efficient. It's like, so cool. Um, but uh, yeah, a chair for meditating and, and whatnot, a, a table for whatever. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. So overall, this place is pretty swanky. I'll see if I can like, or see if there's any opportunity to like film the front of the hotel and whatnot. It's just a really nice hotel in general, which is good, which is fun. I remember back in the day, I always used to go to all these seminars, free seminars, big tip, when you don't have any money, like I used to, go, go to free seminars, uh, make sure you don't stay around for the sales pitch. They will get you. They're good at what they do. Anyways, sidetrack. But my point is go to all these, um, I used to go to all these free seminars and stuff like that, and they used to always say like, uh, fly first class, you know, upgrade the hotel room. Uh, and I'm like, this is the stupidest fucking advice you would give someone who's broke. And, um, you know, I'm not saying go fly first class everywhere, but I kind of understand, you know, um, with me personally, even uh, I started, you know, just getting nicer hotel rooms, nicer Airbnbs, even when I wasn't making too much money. Um, and it's just like, it just kind of gets you in that mentality in the same way that, you know, I recommend fake cash to so many of you guys because you're just not in that mental headspace that you know you're deserving of that sort of lifestyle. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna go on a little tangent here. A lot of you guys are. There's a difference between new money and old money, and uh, I'm I'm new money, but I'm very old money. If you just kind of notice my character, new money is obviously you know new first generation sort of wealth, um, but they act like it in the sense that like it's the like show off the rolly, um, show off the car, and look, you guys know like. You know, it is, I, I, even with you guys, I inspire you guys with a cool lifestyle and stuff like that, but you know, I'm never like, <laughs> like recording everything, like price tag, like just like Gucci store and whatnot. But, um, you know, I think that's like, 
I think that's the new money mentality, which I don't think is good. I think the old money mentality is like, you don't even have, like, I, who was it? Someone, someone said it in uh, one of their rap songs, but they're like, uh, you know you're rich when you got in, you don't Instagram it or something like that. I think it was Tory Lanez. Uh, and like, I, I'm like a huge proprietor of that. Like, I think like, you know, when you have good stuff in your life and you know, you don't feel the need to, uh, to you know, Instagram it, that's when like, you know, you're not only are you physically wealthy, but you know, you're mentally wealthy as well. But um, anyways, I guess my whole long story is guys like, then when you're going away and whatnot, just treat yourself. Um, trust me. It's one of those things, if you're someone who does actually have an issue with even just believing that they're worthy of money and worthy of, you know, those higher, those higher wealth brackets and stuff like that. And I said, me personally, I, I never had an issue. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent I deserve to be wealthy. Uh, so that was never, I was talking to the coaching student yesterday. That was never like sort of a, a thing that went through my mind. But funnily enough, when I got that $30,000 fake cash, that same month was the first month when I made $30,000 and then I went on to make forty, fifty thousand dollars last month. And this month, we are, I think we're 15 days exactly through the month and I'm on 30,000 right now. So let's hope we hit 60 plus thousand this month. Uh, yeah, we are on FL Focus 29,500, which basically 30,000 and we're halfway through the month. So let's hope this is an even better one. But anyways, my whole point, your inner reality, I'm telling you, it manifests. And um, and look, you guys know on the channel, I'm gonna give you hard tactics on how to freaking execute, but uh, look, nothing will change if, if this doesn't change. So, whew, in Berlin, gotta relax. And then tomorrow, the uh, consulting job starts. I'm uh, super excited for it, it's a, it's a really cool company. So guys, day two of Berlin, time to head off to the consulting job. It was snowing hard earlier today, which was cool. I haven't seen snow in a long, long time, but um, yeah, time to head off to AJ Smart and uh, start off with the first of the two day consultation. Today, we're doing a lot of funnel creation. Uh, we're split testing and creating a bunch of different ads so that tomorrow we can come in, see which one perform better, overnight and then run with that for the funnel so pretty cool stuff pretty fun stuff the agency itself it's uh, it's run by a guy called jonathan and he is he's very like the entire feel of the place is very like silicon valley um you know very just it just seems like a cool fun place to work uh which is fun especially in and amongst berlin i mean i don't know the city but like I get like a really bleak vibe from this place. Uh, so to have them, which is just, I mean, I'm sure you'll see, but uh, yeah, they're a cool company. And you don't want to be in search results. And I don't want to be in search results, it's all the way at the top ad, because your video is not actually showing. Like, like the, you're, you're they're just seeing, it's not that the, you're, they're seeing what the video could be, but you're, they're not being shown that. Plus the cool thing Plus is- Plus it's all, it'd be weird to get, yeah. it's like a pure ad. If you yeah. Plus the thing with um, pre-roll ads is that they say you only get charged if they watch after five seconds. So ah, in terms of these events, you're selling um, twenty five hundred a ticket up to like five k. Uh, yeah, mostly it's it's now between one thousand and around three thousand. So usually, it's average. Three thousand five hundred is so far the most common ticket, but the nine ninety is also uh, okay. There we go. So we got a little bit of data. Okay, 23 pounds per link click, not spend. No. Okay, so that is, you can already see B. You can already see that B is like. So, yeah, split test B is already a, a no no for sure. Is this it's casual? Is this it's a casual one. It's very casual. That's it's, the thing. It's, I think it might be a, too, a little bit too casual. So, ad A is doing really well. So, ad A is doing, obviously, we're, we only have like. Four, like four euros worth of feedback, so. Yeah, and we know. see how many people have actually gone. Free video training and resources. I think that's why. 
Take funnels and then to YouTube. Okay, so that's what I was talking about, and that's a custom conversion. And I've got that set up for my page, for example. So I'm getting a, a link click, a link click for roughly 11 pence, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm getting a conversion, which is then clicking to my YouTube or. Um, I, I'll just run you guys through it on my. Uh, well, we can see how many people have viewed the playlist on YouTube, right? Actually, first and before then, just as well, for that, create a custom conversion. Like, what is the checkout page URL, or what is like an add, add to cart URL that they get? Let's see, but so I guess. Which pixel are you using for this? Is it, basically, you have you have one pixel for like everything. Everything. So this is the top of the like IP. No, or, no, 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 because with this you can do a custom, like custom tracking for this URL itself. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Guys, day two of do. <laughs> 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 so guys, day two of two is done. Sat here with Kit and Brittany. Brittany, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, um, oh, can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it, go for it. Cool, I'm Brittany. That's Kit. Hello. Uh, yeah, we, we run the content team here at AJ and Smart, and when I said content, I definitely meant awareness, because Kit hates the word content. Oh, Why do you hate the word content, Kit? Because it's just a mediocre thing. <laughs> it's not a real thing. That's what it is. Anyway, uh, it's yeah. It's a wrong use of the word. Yeah. Here you go. I'm going to give you back to your uh, leader. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, as you can see, um, the two days pretty much hasn't even felt like two days. It just, it was, it was like a nice like coffee conversation, pretty much. It was, a, it was a good experience. So, um, thank you to the AJ and Smart team out here in Berlin. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. So guys, it is time to leave. It is the last day here in Berlin. So it's time to back up all my shit. It's been a fun trip to say the least. I, uh, okay, let's see, should I end it off here or? Yeah, you know what, let's end it off here. Um, let me tell you a few things that I learned from my experience here and staying here. First of all, being at uh, AJ and Smart, which is the, you know, the agency that I was training. First thing I realized is like, yeah, it's just, everyone's just so happy. Like, I know that sounds like such a stupid thing to say, but like, I think, you know, I think being happy is probably one of the hardest things in the world um, on a consistent basis. And I, I know I came out with a video like this, you know, a long time ago and people were like, oh my God, Iman, you're unhappy. Like, you, like you're unhappy or you're like, like, is everything okay? Um, no, guys, like, I'm a, I'm a really, really fucking happy guy. Like, you can give me... You give me pretty much anything and I'll just like flick it up in the air and I like I could probably just play with my ring all day and I'd, I'd be happy. Um, but that said, you know, m when I say like happy, I mean like living life with joy and like not letting, I mean, uh, me personally, I don't ever let little things get to me, uh, but just like constantly living life with joy and seeing the bright side and being grateful and just being very present. You know, um, so my version of happiness, I think, is like kind of like my version of wealthy. Uh, it's like my version of wealthy is being a billionaire. My version of being happy is like g like genuinely just living life with joy and passion and you know, and I'm definitely not at that level yet in the same way I'm not at that billionaire level yet. Well, hopefully one day I'll get there. So one thing that I realized is just like all these people are just so so happy and so It's just a good work environment and workspace and stuff like that. So it, it, it was very very interesting to see uh, I think you're the you know, you're the some of the five people you hang around with and, um, you know, if you're hanging around five people who are wealthy, you're going to become rich. If you're hanging around five people who fucking do drugs, I know this, uh, you're going to do drugs. You, you're like, you're going to be fucked up. If you hang around five people who are happy, you're going to be happy. So, um, you know, it, it's very, very interesting to see. Another thing that I learned, uh, kind of my time here is I completely underpriced myself, uh, or at least I wasn't told directly, but I kind of got the sense that I did. I charged six thousand uh, dollars for this two-day thing and I actually just received a message from Jonathan uh, who's the owner. Um, never got him on camera. Forgot to do that. But yeah, he's like, Iman, honestly, you could be doing 120k a day speaking events. Um, and it's very cool to see because look, I mean, at the end of the day, you see all these entrepreneurs and stuff like that. Um, like, t take my personal brand or my affiliate marketing business. Um, like, you know, like a personal brand is cool, right? Like a personal brand is, I think is one of the coolest ways to make your money, but like, 
you don't you know you don't have to be at that like top tier to to like honestly a personal brand you don't have to be at that top top tier to to make like to to, to be one of the top players I, I i don't think the the caliber is at the highest level but if you look in the marketing world you look at the best marketers uh, who are representing some of the biggest companies they are at that like just that top tier um anyways my point is even say with a social media marketing agency you really don't have to be a genius i mean i was like i'm i'm a pretty stupid guy like at people like I've said this to people before and they think I'm joking. I'm not a very clever guy. Um, you know, to set, so to have someone who has an agency that they're, they're making a lot of money. Like five, I don't know exactly, but I'm sure it's roughly long, along the lines of five, 10 um, million revenue a year. Okay, are we still recording? Yeah, five, five, 10 million revenue a year. You know, to have someone like that tell me like, Iman, you definitely have the potential to, you know, do 120K a day speaking gigs and stuff like that. It's quite like it's quite cool, you know. Say with some of my other agency clients, it's like, you know, anywhere from a, a, a thousand five hundred to five thousand dollar retainer, and I'm filming four K just trying to make sure this uh, make sure this thing doesn't overheat. Um, yeah, um, you know, and it's it's kind of cool. Like you kind of come in and you do what you're meant to do and stuff like that. And sometimes you get referred to, for example, like Travelex, the the company that did like six hundred seventy mil rev. Um, in 2017, you get referred to a company like that, or you get referred to, you know, so say one of my old clients, Zebra Fuel or Athlete, like these are all companies that are worth like five, like five to 25 million now, like literally in the space of me working with them uh, to now, you know, in the last like six months. Uh, so you, you know, you get a lot of like heavy hitters, or you, there's so much potential to get heavy hitters, but as I said, to kind of like come in as like the expert. Um, and you know, that's why like consulting I find so cool because like I literally just like get to come in as the expert and like the whole, like people who are like mil or like, you know, people who are millionaires are like This huge agency is just like listening to you and then yeah, I, as I said next thing I learned I realized is I, I Underpriced and I knew that immediately when I sent out the proposal and like straight away He's like you hit the nail on the head. We'd love to have you over for uh, six thousand dollars um so, you know, I'm pretty sure I could have charged probably anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars for this. So, hey ho, I had a great time. I learned so much. Um, and by the way, guys, when I say these numbers, my first exactly a year ago, this month a year ago, my I made a thousand two hundred dollars, eight hundred eighty pounds, roughly thereabouts. Things change, okay? Things change. So don't think that this is beyond your your barrier or your or your what you're capable of or, or anything like that um we live in just such a fucking cool world and that's why you see me speak about all this with so much passion so main takeaways you are worth more than you could have ever imagined number two happiness is a choice and like i mean this is just something i'm learning more and more and more and more uh happiness is just it's generally a choice uh and I think if you want to be happy, just surround yourself with other people that are fucking happy. Like, it's pretty obvious. Uh, and number three, what's the other thing I learned from this trip? Um, there is a lot of fulfillment in building something bigger than yourself. And I was talking to Jonathan about this. And guys, like this year, I want to make a million, like my goal is a million profit. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm, or I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm going to fucking make it. Like <laughs> right now I'm projected to do uh, 670K off of my current stats. Um, that, that doesn't mean anything, but like the version of me in six months will be much, much better than now. You know, it's not like I'm like a football player. Things only get better in my realm. Um, you know, so that's cool. But like when you can build something bigger than yourself, you know, an agency like that, I used to think like, fuck that. I never want offices and employees. And I still don't want offices and employees for like two, three years. But like when you can build something bigger than yourself, I think that's, that's such an incredible feat. So yeah, in general, very, very fun trip. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. We're going live in a few days again. And um, yeah, guys, six-figure SMMA coming out very, very shortly. Uh, probably by the time you're watching this in 10 to 14 days, something along those lines. And uh, yeah, it's going to be... Um, <laughs> it's. Uh, I've been working on it for actually three, four weeks now. So it's... It's by far the biggest, like, it's a very big challenge for me to, like, put all of this information and everything I've learned into this one product uh, and then have it in a way that, like, it's pretty much like a system and a guaranteed system and a, and a flow you go through. So I'm very excited for it. So, um, yeah, guys, I will uh, see you tomorrow.